Hey everyone, my name's Phoebe and I'm going to show you this really cool new feature called Fur Strand. It's going to allow you to see all of your fur in your 3D window. So let's have some fun while we learn and dive on in. Okay, so here I have my 3D window. What we're first going to go through is where this feature is, how this feature works, things to know about it. And then we're going to go through like a workflow on how you could apply it into your everyday life. So first off, where is this feature? Well, it's where all of our material types are. So if I go to my object browser up top here on my right, I can select my fabric. Now, as you all probably know already, when you select a fabric, there will be a yellow highlight in your 3D window telling you which like piece is applied to that fabric or has that fabric applied to it. So here I have fabric two, it's applied to this piece. I can then go down into my property editor, which is right below object browser. And if I scroll down a bit underneath materials, I'll see type. So this type is telling me what type of fabric this is. This is our fur render only fabric. Now, if I go to this dropdown, I can see right above fur render only, there's fur strand, right? So fur strand is what's going to allow you to see this in your 3D window. So I'm going to select this and it's visible now. Now I can see it here in my 3D window. Looks amazing. Some things to know, you can control how this is viewed. So there's three options on how this is viewed. We're gonna get to where you can view that in a minute. Also, what to know is when you switch from fur render to fur strand, it does reset all of your properties. So you will have to reapply them all. You can even see here for preset now is default. Originally when it was for render, which I can go right here, it was Fox. So now it's at default. I can just easily go to Fox and then it will be there and it will show me my Fox fur. Also what to know is right now this works in Windows. We do not have it in Macs yet. Apologies. But for all you Windows users, it's great. And also to know, this does also work in your render window. So you do not have to switch to fur render to see this in render. You just can keep it all in as fur strand and you can see it all. So let's go into our user settings to see all of the different ways in which you can view your fur in your 3D window. So here at the very top toolbar, I can go to settings and from settings, I can go to user settings. So here I'll select user settings and I'll go into my 3D section here. And right below my 3D section here is first strand shape. So right now our default is always plain because that helps the software like run quickly. And also it gives you a good amount of information for your fur. You can also use line or cylinder. So just to help you out in what you're seeing in plane, let's hit close and let's zoom in a bit. So for plane, what you can see is kind of like the width of that fur, because you can see the width, but you can't see the height or the depth or like the thickness of it. But you can see the width of it and you can also see how long it will be. So you can kind of see this because it's a plane. So you can see like, oh, I don't really see like if it's super thick or anything, but I do see like, cause it looks flat, but I do, if I turn, I do see that I can see how wide it would be. And I can also see how long it is. So I see a good amount of information here. If I go into, again, my top section here, all of my top tools, then go to user settings, 3D, I can then choose line. I'm going to hit close. And line, what that's gonna do is it's not gonna give you much information on thickness or width, but it will tell you how like long it is. So it will tell you the length because it will be a straight line. I can zoom in here and you can kind of see like it's just a straight line. There is not the depth of like, the it's not the thickness or the width of the fur that you're gonna see, but you are gonna see like how long it is, which again, really helpful. And if you're doing a lot of edits, 
This is probably gonna be really useful because it will allow you to edit and adjust really quickly. Next, we're gonna go into user settings and then we're gonna go into 3D and cylinder. So cylinder will give you the most amount of information because it's going to literally have every single strand as a cylinder. So you can start to see like, oh, like, oh, I can see how thick it is. I can see how wide it is. Like, I can see how long it is. All of that information is there for you to see. So really nice. But this does slow down your wind, like the software a bit. So if you're going to do a lot of edits, this will probably get very frustrating very quickly. But if you want to like show it as a final product or anything like that quickly on your screen, switch to this. If you're going to do a fitting, something that might require some edits, but you also want to get some good information, I would stick with plain. I would also stick with plain for like everyday things. Um, but if you're going to, if you're like, oh, I'm in editing mode, like I really want to adjust this garment. I want to change it into something completely different. Then maybe you go to line that might be really helpful for you. Just to kind of see what the difference is here in rendering, I'm going to go to render and kind of show you all what the difference is between for strand and for render only. So you can kind of see there is a bit of a difference between the two. And I just want you all to know that as well. Like there is a bit of a difference between the two when you render them. Not like too big of a difference, but there is a difference. What we have learned is our first strand is much closer to like real life than our for render was. So it's a big improvement, I think. And you can kind of, when you look at it, you kind of get the feel like, oh, this is like a little more realistic because it's like showing how they're falling more, like where the lightness is and all of that. It's acting a lot more how it would drape and look if it was in the real world as well. Then this one is giving you like a very classic, this is the fur, this is like how most furs look. Maybe it's not, maybe the fur isn't taking into account like how this is draping as much. But I mean, this still looks pretty good. Both of them are gonna give you really beautiful outputs. Um, this one just might make it feel a little bit more realistic when you're rendering out or if you're doing a lot of draping or anything like that. But they do render out a bit different as you can see here. So now let's dive into some workflow ideas. So I'm just going to show you here is my garment and this is probably how you all are going to work soon because your everything you have is rendered right so here I have a garment everything is for render only so what you might need to do if you just to remind you because if you do switch to strand then all of that information gets changed I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that so you, what you might need to do as a workflow is you might need to go and like go to here, copy, then go to first strand and then go to for one, see for render and then go down below and I can just like copy, paste, copy, paste, this is normal. Um, these are all actually the same, except um, this one, and then just the pointer. Okay. Then I can also see what's different here. Okay. I'm going to say gradation. Paste. Copy. Paste. I think this is all the same. Yeah. But I can see like my color stayed, which is really helpful. So that's great. And then what I'll probably have to do is go through that for all of them. I've kind of already done that. So what I'm going to now do is I'm just going to hit delete is now I'm going to go into here. And now, like, if you copy them all, then you could go through and, like, select your patterns and then hit apply. 
or you can copy them all and then uh, save them as fabrics. And so here I have this fabric. I'm going to open up my fabrics. This is fur one. I have fur one strand, I believe. Oh, I don't because that was my example one. Okay, so we got to do this one more time. Guys, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody's got those days. Um, okay, let's do this one last time. <laughs> really thought I saved it. I really didn't. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's, this. Mm. it's not this. Mm. It's not this. Okay. First strand. Let's do this one more time really quickly. So here, this actually works out perfectly because then I can remind you guys how to save. So here, I'm going to hit save. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to save for one. Bam. Save. This is it. And if you did do it this workflow, this is actually perfect. If you did do it this workflow, you can then select. Wait, where is for one? It's this one. OK, I can select it here and here and then hit apply. Right. Cool. Great. I changed the color. This one didn't, I didn't change the color for, but you can see that that was a mistake I made. Okay. It should have been this color. Um, then what you can do for other workflows. So does this apply to anything else? It's gotta be actually. Oh. Now what I can do, if I, you've already like saved it, then you can go into fur here. I can hit open. I've got fur four strand open. Then I can go into fur two, open, two, open, and fur three. And fabric one open cool great now i see it all here i can hit interactive and then i'll see it all here and it'll all be great and that coloring is going to be even better i was kind of wondering like why is that gray Nobody's perfect. I gotta work it. Again and again. And you can see it right here, how it all looks. Pretty great, and the coloring is really nice and all of that. But you can see like that's kind of how a workflow you might need to do in like this time where you're transferring all of the rendering into the strand option or if you ever need to switch between the two but you can just see like this is a pretty easy workflow it is a little time consuming but very straightforward and yeah thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions use that comment section down below a clo 3d designer will get back to you and keep having fun in Quo, and thanks again so much for watching.